Hey guys, Doug from Pine Tree Line Productions. I'm out here in the woods as I often am. And I'm here to do a review on this, the Sun Life Emergency AM FM NOAA solar radio, weather radio. And it's got a lot of features and there's one feature that made me actually interested in reviewing this product. Stick around to find out. All right guys, so what this is, it's a 2000 mAh uh, charger. It's a flashlight, it's an SOS alarm. It has an additional light source for reading or other things, AM, FM radio, and it's also a weather radio. So it can find seven different weather uh, channels that exist as part of the NOAA network, and also uh, tunes into Environment Canada in Canada. So if you're in the US, NOAA, if you're in Canada, it's gonna be Environment Canada. So there's four ways that you can uh, get this thing working. And uh, the most conventional way, I guess, is uh, actually three AAA batteries, which would go in the back here, and uh, as a backup. But the three other additional ways are the more, most interesting to me. You can charge it via computer, any kind of uh, charging block through a, a wall socket, any kind of battery bank will, will charge it as well. Second interesting way, I guess, would be the uh, solar panel, a small solar panel on the top here. So as long as it's outside and there's sun. The most interesting way to me, and the, and the thing that made it uh, kind of a, a game changer for me in wanting to do a review on this, is the hand crank. So one minute of hand cranking uh, at about 120 RPM uh, will provide five to seven minutes of uh, flashlight time and about three to five minutes of radio time. This hand crank uh, is something that allows this radio to never ever lose power. Uh, no matter what the weather conditions are, what kind of circumstances, if the batteries burn out. Uh, the internal battery is a lithium battery, so it's rechargeable. It's, it's going to work for a long, long time. With the crank, the hand crank, that's the game changer on this radio. So in the back here, you have uh, a micro USB. Uh, that's the input. And then you have a regular USB output in the back as well. And so that's what you're going to use uh, when you're using it as a power bank to charge things up. It's got two switches. One is uh, if you're using the AAA batteries, you're going to flip the switch to AAA. And just below it, you have the lithium uh, switch. You're going to want to keep it on that. And that's for uh, any time uh, you're using the lithium battery or you're wanting to charge through the lithium battery. If you are charging it, uh, whether it's through the micro USB or you're charging it through the solar or hand crank, you wanna take the top switch and switch it down to the what appears to be a little cell phone here. You wanna make sure that the radio is off anytime you're doing any kind of charging. That's, uh, that's one of the things that it allows the uh, lithium battery to charge. Uh, it's also got an SOS feature. But you can hear that pretty loud. And that's an important part uh, as far as the safety feature on that. The flashlight is here. And you can see that. The additional light, for uh, reading or what have you is up here where the uh, solar panel is. So you can use that for reading or if you wanted to light up a bigger space, uh, it's there underneath the solar panel. You'll have to move the antenna uh, up in order to do that. Uh, speaking of the antenna, that's what works with the radio. So on the side here, you have a tuning button and you have the on and off and volume button. So if you turn that on. Showers ending near midnight with risk of thunderstorms. All right, so that's Environment Canada. So I have it tuned into Environment Canada. And if you're in the States, uh, you can find the proper tuning to the area you're in with those seven channels. So it's on the uh, little switch here, which is on the, uh, the weather broadcast. And then if you uh, move it to FM and you turn it on, tune it up, you can find the radio. The weather radio only works in North America. It doesn't work overseas, different system. If it's not fully charged, but it's on, you'll see the red light here. It'll actually turn green once it's fully charged. The 2000 uh, mAh battery can provide up to 30 hours of the flashlight or eight hours of the radio. So when that's fully charged, uh, you're getting a lot of beef out of that. Uh, it can charge a number of items, including cell phones and tablets. It doesn't charge all cell phones. And I know this to be true because it didn't charge my iPhone. But the beauty is it could actually charge a battery bank. So if you have a battery bank, it's out uh, or used and you need to charge it in order to charge your cell phone. This will charge the battery bank, even though it won't uh, necessarily charge an iPhone direct. Something like does say it doesn't charge all uh, cell phones. So that wasn't a surprise that it didn't actually charge a cell phone. I didn't have a uh, Android phone to test it on. So we're looking at uh, 6.5 inches. It's 2.22 uh, inches wide. It's uh, 3.2 inches high. It weighs about 370 grams. So about 0.8 of a pound, very lightweight. 
All right, guys. So the pros of the uh, the unit itself is uh, is the hand crank. This is the game changer for me. You don't have to rely on, on solar if you're into bad weather, cloudy weather where it's not going to charge uh, with solar. If your batteries are burnt out, and if you don't have a battery bank or your battery bank is done, and uh, you don't have one with you or it's not charged uh, or out of charge, this will charge it. The one thing that's a constant in this is actually the. Uh, the hand crank that sells the radio to me that, that's the thing that makes me want to have this radio there's different situations if you're in the outdoors if you're out of self-service if you're in a weather emergency or you're out in a boat uh, a lot of different situations where this might come in handy or you have it in your vehicle vehicle breaks down you know you can imagine some of the scenarios but to have this with you could be invaluable it could be you know a last resort and to get you know that one last charge of a, an item whether it's your phone or an, an additional light or to, to use this for light uh, remember it's dark half the time if you're out in the woods and you don't have any light with you but you have this i mean that's a great thing to have the other thing is it's made out of plastic so it's lightweight because you have a radio you never lose touch with the outside world no matter where you are or what the situation is too often we all rely on our cell phones a lot so we'll carry our cell phone we depend on that to give us the weather to give us you know updates of what's going on in the world but if you're getting to an area where you don't have cell phone service anymore you can't use that cell phone for that so you can use this old-fashioned use the radio but if you're out in the outdoors one of the most important things is weather if you're on a canoe trip uh, if you're just camping in the in the back country or even if you're just at your camp or out on the on a big water on, on your boat something like that that's where this can become very valuable so the emergency beacon I mean you heard how loud that is I mean that's gonna grab people's attention if you need it especially uh, I'm thinking if you're in a boat and you're out in the water uh, that might work out really well or if you're in a remote area that sound in the middle of the woods is gonna be loud when you're dealing with plastic and it can potentially uh, be dropped and, and uh, maybe get damaged somehow uh, so you want to be careful but you have the carabiner here so you can hang this off your pack and you know cinch it up like that that's a good thing to you know kind of combat the fact that it's uh, plastic and you know when you're dealing with plastics uh, the other uh, kind of con is you got to be very careful when you're using the uh, antenna uh, it's something that could be fragile and if that breaks off the uh, chances of being able to use uh, the radio portion of this becomes uh, you know non-existent so you want to be very careful when using the antenna another con I think there's more pros than cons especially you know, when you look at the redundancy of uh, getting this thing charged up and, and being uh, able to be applied and used from what I can see this this is great for hiking camping out of your cottage or camp uh, if you're going out hunting or a hunt camp if you're fishing you're in your boat I think this is this is a really good unit for a boat uh, these things are going on Amazon for uh, $44.99 Canadian on Amazon uh, .ca amazon.com they're $27.99 Sung Life has told me that if you uh, enter the uh, promotional code Sung Life S-U-N-G-L-I-F E, you'll get 20% off. Uh, so when you want to do that, when you're going through the checkout, Sun Life sent me this uh, radio to review. I'm not being paid to, haven't been asked to say anything uh, specific about the radio, just to give my honest thoughts about it. And the nice thing that Sun Life also did for us is they sent us a second unit. We're gonna give this away. So if you're interested in uh, having a chance at winning this, you wanna be a subscriber to the channel, uh, you want to like the video and you want to put in the comments uh, with your comment or as a comment, I'm in. That's it. That's all you have to say. We'll pick a winner and we'll pin the winner here right here on uh, on the YouTube video in a couple weeks from the time that this airs. Other than that, guys, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us a like. Follow us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. PTLoutdoors.com is our website. And uh, that's it for now. Take care, guys.